Okay. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Jatin again. So this is uh, basically I am recording this session to give you the brief overview about uh, sorting in Python. We have already done with the first lecture over there and I have recorded a session for around 17-20 minutes. I have shared it earlier to you guys as well. In last session we discussed about how to basically use a sorting in case of list. So we have done a couple of things before. If you haven't uh, seen this video, this is the first time if you are looking to this video, I prefer go to the previous video which is available in YouTube and uh, what you can do is you can just have a look of it how we actually use the sorting over there. So just a small recap of a previous session. We done the list sorting last time and list sorting we have done the number sorting as well as so I put it over here number sorting and uh, alphabet sorting. Now, <clears throat> now in today's session I just try to extend it a bit so in today's session mostly I'm going to focus about a sorted function which is an inbuilt function function which is available in Python. Apart from this we are also going to look into the data structure and their sorting and their sorting. And data structure, we are going to use combinations of various data structures together, which can be a list of lists, list can be a tuples as well, as well as a combinations of multiple dictionaries or maybe the arbitrary types like uh, dictionaries of list or list of dictionary. It can be many relationships we can able to maintain over here. So let's get started with the first topic called a sorted. And I'm going to use the same example which we have done in part one. And uh, so let's see quickly. So. Similarly, last time we have defined the list. Let's say for example, I define a list of some numbers and this is a random numbers I have. So let's say I put here 9 and I say 7 here. Okay, these are the list of some numbers. Last time if you remember that I have done like this, I have say numbers of dot sort and give me the result. So basically when I say a list dot sort, it modify the same list itself. So it modify it the same list I can say it modify the same list in place. So if you go and see the numbers this is the sorted one. There's one more function which is provided by Python called as sorted. So I'm taking the help page of it and it does the same thing for me. So the difference between a sort and a sorted function is the sort function is always works with the list because this is a list function so it works with the list. But if you talk about the sorted function, it works with any iterable. It can be a tuple, it can be a, a dictionary, or it can be a list, or it can be any kind of iterable, other iterable as well. And it holds the same parameters which my sort function is using. So if you see the help page of a sort, you can see the same exact parameters available over here. The only difference we have is we have, it returns a new sorted list. But if you talk about the sort, it won't return a list it modify a list. Here it returns a new sorted list. So if it is this iterable is a tuple, it will return the list. If this is dictionary, it returns the list. If this is text list, it will also return the list. So the output will be list always. So that's that's quite comfortable with us. So I do the same operation. Let's say I modified it once again. Now I, instead of doing the sort, I use sorted. So I say numbers. So it give me the result, exactly same result. But if I look into the numbers, my numbers will not modify. It remains same <laughs> because it does not modify the object in place. It returns the values out of it. And that's, a, I can say, the, the, the difference between a sorted function as well as a list sort function. And you can use a tuple here as well. Let's say I tape a tuple. Now this is my tuple element and it does the same thing. So it returns. So it works with tuple as well. So there can be any kind of objects we have available over here. So let's see some examples basically. Now, so I'm going to give you the first example here is, let's say, this is very famous interview question. If you go to any interview questions of Python available over here. So this is normally the question number three or question number four in priority list. So what is this? Let's say I define a dictionary called as employee. Okay. And I have the dictionary which have few names. Let's say I put my name and my salary. Okay, I give let's say one more name over here and a salary. 
I give one more name over here and let's say his salary. And this is let's say I have n number of elements available over here. Now what I need to do over here is I need to find it out the name of an employee who has a maximum salary. So let's say this is a name, this is a salary. So what is my requirement over here? I want to find out name of an employee which who has a maximum salary, who has the maximum salary. Now, as I said in last class also, the maximum minimum is mostly about sorting stuff. So as per the analysis, I can able to find out, okay, Akash is having the maximum salary which is equals to 40,000. It intentionally does not make my salary 14,000 more than 14,000. So that I should not come over here. So I want to find out the name of a person who is having the maximum salary which is 40,000. And from this, I can able to see that it is Akash. But if I want to do it programmatically, first thing is I need to do sort it. So I do sort it. No, before, before I use sort it, just a small background over here. <laughs> now, I want to sort on these values, not on a keys, important thing. So what I should, what I should use over here. Remember, in first class, I discussed about a parameter called a ski, which is available in a, in a sorted or sort function. So I'm going to use the same. If you are not familiar what is key at this moment, go back and look into the previous video. We should understand it. So I use the same thing. What I use over here, I use over here employees dot items. This employee dot items give me the key value pair. What are the key value pair I have? This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So items returns a list which contains multiple tuples as a form of a key value pair. So I got the same thing over here. Now my work almost is done. I want to find it out. Now this is quite random which is we get over here. <coughs> so what I want to find it out. I want to find it out this particular salary who is having the maximum salary. Now this is not exactly the sorted list at this moment. It's just a coincidence we get Akash, Jatin and Rahul at these, in fact these places. So what I'm going to use over here, I'm going to use a sorted function and in sorted function I want to feed what I need to feed is a list which contains multiple tuples. Now I want to sort on this particular value. So I use key over here. So I say key equals to, I use lambda as you remember that we have used here last time is string dot upper which converts each and every element to the upper case. Here I'm using the lambda function and I want this particular parameter. So I say lambda of x which is nothing but a tuple, each and every element of a tuple. And I say return of x comma 1. So what it returns? It returns 40,000, 30,000 and 20,000. And I want to sort it down based on the descending order. So I say reverse equals to true. That's what I want to find it out. <laughs> so what is it going to return me? It is going to return me the list which contains multiple tuple. So I take the first parameter of it. And what I want? I want the name. So I say 0, 0. I got a name of a person who is having the maximum salary. Similarly, if I want to find out the minimum salary, the name of a person who is having the minimum salary, what I do is I just remove this reverse and from this I can able to see Rahul is having the minimum salary. So sorting becomes so uh, important for you. So many times you have to find it out top 5, top 10, top 15. You can alter it very easily. Let's say if I want to find it out top 2, okay. So what I can do here is, can I put like this? I want to find out top two. So I say slicing, I use slicing over here and it gives me top two. Or who is the top two employee who so is having the maximum salary? Then you just iterate through it and you can get the values whatever you want. I hope it makes sense. <laughs> so this is one of the example which used normally in interviews where you want to sort a dictionary based on its values, not on its key. Let's take one more example. I want to complicate it a bit. So here I take an employee list and I put it like this. I say employee IE. I say take the details over here. I say Jatin, my department, let's say IT and my salary. Now, uh, this is a dictionary of list, multiple lists. So I put over here, I say what you can do is, let's take it as an HR, okay, 
let's take it as an HR. Oops, I put it over here. I say three colon this much. And IT again. That's it. I hope let's rectify some mistakes over here. Let that's perfect. <coughs> okay. Now I, I let's take one more in fact. So I want to take it out like this. Let's take one more name over here, call this as Vijay. Vijay. And let's take I make it HR and I make it a salary of sixty thousand. Now what oops. Uh, okay, I forgot to put I I have to remove this this comma here and put a comma here. This is just a typo. Now I think it's perfectly fine. Okay, now I have an employee structure ready with me. Now in this employee structure, what I need to find it out, I need to find it out the name of a person who is having the maximum salary and belongs to an IT department. So I can put it over here. I want to find out the name of a person who has maximum salary and belongs to IT department. Now this is quite interesting. In this we are sorting it out only on on, on values. Now here I want to sort it on one more condition over here is that the department should be ID and you can definitely take a multiple type of data structures over here. Now how to sort this out? So I do the same operations again. First I say employ dot items so it gives me <laughs> the list which contains multiple tuples and inside that I have multiple list as well. So I can see this is <coughs> zeroth <coughs> this is one and this is second index over here. So I did the same thing I said sorted followed by employ dot items comma. Now very interesting point I say key equals to what will be my key I have to put lambda over here lambda and I say x what I need to return I need to return x of what x of one followed by I give two over here that's give me the salary isn't it so I say x of one which is this much and out of this I want the second element out of it so I put out I pull it out the second element and I have to say over here when if x of one of one which is basically a department is equals to equals to id that's perfectly fine so only if it is id then only returns it else we have to return something when it is not I can say it is not an ID else return what let's say zero I return so that's perfectly fine so what it is going to return me it is going to give me all the elements it gives me Vijay this first and followed by this one followed by this one and then Rahul let's check it out perfectly fine oops I have to say reverse equals to true because we have to do the sorting perfectly fine now I got this I can pull it out so I say what need to pull it out I have to find out the maximum salary so I say zeroth of one or zero and it gives me Vijay this is how you can do the sorting based on one conditions you can have multiple conditions over here put the and logical and in this particular case and you can able to find it out that's one of the example which I want to proceed further with this uh, you know multiple conditions sorting I take various examples in my classes I cannot able to put out all the examples over here unfortunately but I take various examples various kind of data structures and I give you various assignments over there and going forward once we read up our data analytics part we come across this sorted part very oftenly because so many times we require top 10 like Google does or Facebook does what they do normally they give the top 10 results on a very first page and top 10 second top 10 result in a second page and follow and Facebook does the same thing so how to do the sorting that's an interesting case so they do the sorting based on these features we have provided over here and we can extend these features as much as we want so I hope that you like this particular session as well as you know how to now sort uh, the complex structures do a lot of practice over here it requires a practice 
and if you have any questions or doubt you can email me you can send me back uh, the questions through a whatsapp or maybe i can you can send by emails as well and you can you can take the help as much as you can that's it thank you so much i see you for the next session and i try to cover most concept into it thank you so much